Chad, do you guys want to see, uh... Do you guys want to see the farm? Dude, so last night, I was like eight hours into uptime, and I could tell that my brain was shot because I was just staring at my farm like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> How do I play this game? Um, this is all... This The stairs are getting removed in a second. I'll explain that in a moment, but... Yo, it's kind of cozy in here, right? Little coconut box. Vault gear. It don't look too bad, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, this got, like, fixed up and refined a little bit. Basically, I figured out the whole thing with, like, pistons and moving entities or whatever. So I moved the piston one over to the right. So there's four honey blocks now because we have a honey farm that actually works. Sick. Um, so this works good. The only downside is, is that... Well, actually, nothing's getting picked up right now because the hoppers are full because the storage system isn't set up at the moment. So ignore the fact that none of these are going in. Normally, it would. Um, so that's that's a kill. There's a couple surviving, I think, because of the honey, but it's not really that big of a deal. But anyway, the biggest problem was how do we filter things to where if people are killing, how do we get rid of swords? And it was an incredibly easy solution. So basically, if you go ahead and take a look ski over here. So, I guess it's just like right over here. Um, but the way that Quark makes entities move. Oh, thank you. With the way that like Quark makes entities move with. What's this block called again? Honey blocks. So these things move. And that's like not great typically, but literally I just set up more hoppers right here and all of them funnel into these three chests right here. And then that'll funnel into more chests once I set the actual storage up. For the time being though, all these funnel into these three chests right here, whether it's closed or open. If it's closed, then the items will fall onto these hoppers, go into those, and then go into the chests. If it's open like it is right now, the items will just go into these hoppers and then go straight into the chest. And then these are hooked up to links. To simple storage. The actual network isn't on right now, which is why nothing's getting filtered at the moment. I was like in the middle of uh, getting things set up when I had to go live. And then I have just a simple redstone clock right here going with a dropper. And then underneath that, there is a... An export on the bottom of the dropper for golden swords. And the beautiful thing, simple storage really is like simple, like perfectly simple. The filter for simple storage will respect any durability, any enchant, any variation of a golden sword. It works as a default fuzzy mode, which is, I mean, the fact that it doesn't have any specific options for those kinds of things is not great, you know, but that's like for future storage. But for the time being, it works perfectly. It ignores any MBT tag. It's great. It's awesome. Because I was worried that it would just only take like uh, their non-enchanted swords or they had to be full durability or whatever. So, yeah. When this is active, it works fine. It's just not active at the moment. But I discovered something that kind of uh, makes this whole like staircase and everything I'm doing right here redundant. Dude, I didn't know this. and Y'all probably already did at this point, but I just discovered it a bit ago. People that don't have simple storage networks unlocked are able to access the storage system block and take items out and put items in without having the mod access so we can literally just set up the simple storage network with the one block for all the storage and chests down there and everything works for everybody it's incredible i thought there was a gate behind it like you wouldn't be able to physically access the block unless you had the mod but it's just crafting it once you craft it it's already good so anytime that i told anybody like yeah you can grab some bones underneath my island in the chests that are in the water i was just being a dickhead Oh, you want to just grab for my storage? Nah, I don't really like you enough for that. You can go swimming for the bones if you want. So, yeah, the... It's nice. The most entry-level storage mod in the game, network mod, is accessible to everybody. So that's really good for server community builds, in my opinion. And this is that, pretty much. How much do you really want those bones? I oh, know. What's up, Em? How you doing? How you doing? Yo. And my, uh, my sleeping schedule. I haven't seen the sun in five days. I need to get a better blackout curtain for my bedroom because my, uh, my bedroom is quite light as I drift off tonight. You changed trapdoor to coconut one? No, I haven't done that yet. 
So anyway, that kind of makes the whole thing where I needed people to access the chest down below kind of redundant. So I'm just going to do a very simple setup up here. This is kind of already good, um, but I'm going to move the nether portal out from here and yeah, all of that stuff. But anyway, so we're just going to get jamming on this. I've got some like temporary blocks in here that I've been working with. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. I know I'll need it. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be nice. All right. Drawers research. Everybody pogs. Everybody pags. There's a mix of pogging and pagging, and then everybody kisses. All right. So, cool. Drawers are... Let me go ahead and get rid of all this garbage over here. So, drawers are unlocked now. Okay. Uh, compacting drawers. Yeah, that's that thing. Okay. So, storage upgrade. We need the upgrade templates. And then storage upgrade 3 will be basically good for that. We need the drawer key, and then it'll be upgrades to the quantified key. And then we need, oh yeah, there's the trims and stuff, yeah. Frame drawer? Yeah, we want a frame drawer so we can use um coconut because we're a little coconutty today. Frame trim and all this, yeah. They changed it. It was different than I remember in Fall Hunter Season 2 when I was working on it. Do you just use this in an inventory now? Is that how the drawers work in this? Like you just place the block in the inventory instead of right clicking it onto it or using a table? Because I think there was a table before the drawers that we used in Fall Hunter Season 2 and I think you just use your inventory now? For the sides? I think so? Okay. Well... We have it locked down. So let's just make... Because these just work off of regular drawers. Yeah. Let's just make some oak drawers then. So chromatic iron, wood, driftwood. Does it need to be actual wood? Yeah, okay. New dark oak. I've got a good amount of this. Storage drawers look pretty cheap. It doesn't seem that expensive, really. No. Now let's take a few more of these for sticks and things like that. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. All right, let's make, uh, I guess I make three of these, yeah. Dark oak drawers hold 32 stacks per drawer. Got it. And then, where are my sticks? I was just in case fam from create cost. I'll check that out in a bit. Okay, yeah. And then, coconut. So is it just like this? How do you work? So not like that, understandable. I was testing some stuff with this. Are you friendly streams it seems? There it is, okay. And so if we wanted to... My coconut logs are back. Okay, hold on. Oh, you know what? Actually, I should probably make some of these storage upgrades before... Yeah, let me make the storage upgrades before I move out of here. So we have them. Storage upgrade 3, black chromatic, compressed block, and then upgrade templates. I'm so good at spending Laramar for this build, dude. God. <laughs> uh, And then regular drawers. Okay, yeah. I need actual logs, yeah. How many people have already redeemed a wrath? <laughs> oh my god.
No, no, no white van. No, no, no white vans. It's Orion. It's on Orion. See you in the Gladiator Arena. All right, so we're making upgrade templates with this. I guess we got the A right here. Happy to say my sleep schedule's ruined, but it's worth. That has nothing to do with me, very obviously. Like, we're aware of this. We are aware of this. So we need six compressed blocks of gold. Oh my god, he's got it. Oh my god, he has the tier three storage upgrades. Increase the storage by eight times base value. It's pretty nice. Were you supposed to take a break today? Well, I didn't stream last night, so... Call it a break. Sorry for not streaming last night, chat. Hawaiians are currently kicked up doing right now. What is base value? 32 stacks? Yeah, 32 stacks per drawer. I like how it didn't even craft anything with this and it doesn't stack. <laughs> what the hell, dude? were not here yesterday uh for the last stream we managed to hit these off of a vault where we got two pieces of scrappy leggings and these ones turned out to be pretty freaking incredible we rolled them down a good few times and hit the prefixes and suffixes we got on here so it is a these are some really defensive boys honestly the first piece of gear that i've gotten that has made me not feel like I'm taking seven hearts of damage from every hit from a mob, which kind of excites me and might also be my downfall because I might wind up getting a little bit greedy. But the item already on here and literally everything else, including the uh, magnet that we have over here, the treasure magnets, also increases it. So that should be 79%. Yeah, so we're at 79% item rarity, which basically means that we are nearly double as likely as we would have been before to get rare, epic, and omega items out of chests. That's what item rarity does. Item quantity is just like that much more increased loot rolls every chest that you open. So different strokes, different folks, but you know, we got the item quality and we've been rocking that on all our armor. So it's been, it's been pretty good. But uh, yeah, can I please have one crystal so I can soul flame that? That would be great, thank you. Um, the thing is, though, is... I don't think we're actually gonna be rocking, uh, this magnet. I think we're gonna be rocking the other one that we got, the soul hunting magnet. This one gives plus 50% soul shard increase, because, uh... As much as it would be nice to loot some things... I don't wanna know what that mime's gonna do in a day if I don't pay up my debt. So, uh, I'd like to take care of my debt a little sooner rather than later, if I'm going to be completely honest. So, yeah, we're going to bring in our shard pouch, and I'm... With interest and in everything, let's just say we're around, like, 400 shards in debt around that point. So, we're going to try and get that and, uh, get that all delivered before Harry comes online. A considerable difference! And there's a very large part of me that wants to just keep rolling this over and over again until we get Chaining or Cleave. 
because I would not be against using it over the axe to give swords a little bit of love, and I think I might honestly do that. Because I know we were doing it before, but I think I might continue that, because plus 8% and poison is good for boss killing, but if I can just have this throughout the vault for its entirety, that'd be kind of nice, you know? 18 potential, kind of dead. So also, if uh, you guys weren't here yesterday, I have been misunderstanding crafting potential for the longest time. Crafting potential doesn't reflect the uh, value of the prefixes and suffixes that you get. So if you're in negative crafting potential and you reroll, you'll still have the same odds you would at any other reroll point. Crafting potential just relates to the cost of the reforges. So this being 19 vault bronze for a single reforge, that's where the crafting potential is affected. It's got nothing to do with the actual modifiers that you get. For some reason, I had that misunderstanding that that's what it, that's what worked, but yeah. Um, also, I wanted to check on the other supplies that we have. How are we doing on vault dust and nuggets? Because I might actually make myself a vault diamond pickaxe to replace the netherite one that we have right now. Yeah, because we also got a, uh, we got a jewel, wherever the hell that thing is. I'm trying to remember where all these seven million things are that I have, and apparently I don't know where the jewel went. Oh, did I put it in here? I did put it in here. Uh, we got sturdy. I don't know what sturdy does offhand, but that's our first jewel, and this one normally takes eight ashium and a perfect elections right and a black chromatic steel ingot. So kind of a deal, but... I'm not going to deny an opportunity. I'm not going to deny an opportunity to get sturdy with chat. I feel like that would be quite silly. So, uh, let's do a little vault pickaxe making then, I suppose. One vault pickaxe with three vault ingots and two driftwood. Thank you very kindly for that. And let's see if we can get some upgrades on you with the good old, uh, good old tool, tool vice. So durability, reach, mining speed, and copiously. Copiously is expensive. Mining speed is vault essence and chromatic steel. And then reach is red vault essence and chromatic steel as well. I don't know if I want to run copiously down this thing to be completely honest with you. It could be nice, but I think I might just get it up on really high mining speed. Because I'm curious. We have haste too. I wonder if we just try and go dummy hard on mining speed increases, how quickly we can clear out POIs by, like, getting rid of spawners, right? I think that's what I'm going to go for. So we need Chromatic Steel, Vault Bronze, and Red Vault Essence. Should be easy enough. Copious in case you get a mine room. Well, yeah. Yeah, I know. How much, uh... Do we have? Oh. <laughs> Did I burn down all my painite? You better believe I did. We had a little bit too much fun with the magnets, huh? All right. Not great. Pretty decent. Okay, so mining speed plus 6.85. And we got one socket on there. Let me go for one more time. So we're going to run vaults and try and get some painite so we can upgrade a pickaxe. <laughs> got everything we need. think so. Ear. A three obe and a honey vault. How fitting. All right, north facing. I'm fighting the boss if I get the if I am given the opportunity. Let's see how much this deals. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's nice. I'm gonna need to remember to get that magnetite. I'm trying to remember to grab a few different things. Magnetite. Netherite scrap.
Why does it do that sometimes? Yeah, it's pretty good. So that's some pretty good damage. Oh my days. I can see anything else in this room. How exactly do you want me to figure this out? <laughs> oh wait, I guess we see shit. Oh man, the deeper you get, the, the clearer your vision is. Yeah, that works. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Imagine there's a creeper in there. Stop speaking these things. Hello, objective. Hello, life alter. I heard you. Did I not? I thought I did. Oh, that's what I heard. Wait. I thought I heard something. Hey, everybody! I feel like we took out that room pretty quickly. Oh my god, you wanna know what the downside is though? I can't shop any wood. I can't shop wood. Which I actually think is not meant to be a proper thing, so I probably shouldn't be complaining about this, but I can't shop wood while I'm, uh... <laughs> while I'm fighting off mobs and trying to clear out rooms. Double mystery box. Actually, uh, an above average altar. Was that fixed in the last patch? I think it had meant to have been. It wasn't, though. Hello up there. Nah, man, I'm good. I'm all right. Oh man, I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not ready for the change, clearly.
Oh, damn, two of those. This is where mining the chest would just be better, so I'll never have to do that again. But yeah, just in the meantime, that's kind of humorous. <laughs> Pickaxe fuel for chopping? Yeah, that'll probably be what needs to happen. Axing and shoveling on the pick. So, okay, I... Here, here's the thing about this room. When we were co-oping, Abe found this room and it was like a level 9 vault, like level 7 vault. So, like, he was able to go in and check it out and not take too much damage, right? And, it, and even he was like, this, this this shit ain't worth it. This ain't worth it, man. But I'm, I'm wondering, like, I'm going to take a look myself because I really do want to know. Are the compressed blocks... Like, are the compressed blocks in there, you know, like 600 or so of some andesite? Like, can it, can it be a valuable thing? I'm also remembering that I think I'm going to have to chop wood to get through there, so actually that might have just made the decision up for me. I'm willing to fight, though. I'm not scared of this room anymore. Maybe I should be. That's my poison cloud. That ain't no slime. Oh my god. Bring it on, man! Bring it on now! Plus eight. I'm not scared anymore! I'm incredibly well suited for this room. I'm very geared. Now the mirror spiders can hit each other. That is a lot of mobs still though. I'll be honest, I'm like maybe maybe uh, okay, hey, hey, back the fuck off with that thing, dude. Hey. Nah, we're fine. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Spiders? They ain't worth a damn. I regret what I'm saying. <laughs> Suddenly my mana has gone to zero. That must be a glitch. <laughs> Back off, you bastards. I'll say it. Baby. And we're definitely getting shards, you know, like that is the thing that's happening. Not sure why I just willingly ran through here. I was trying to get out to the other exit, but uh I understand that that's not really something I can easily do. Are you lag switching on me now, bud? Is that what's going on? I'm getting overrun. I don't know where to be shooting. Heal, motherfucker, heal. <laughs> Square vault, perhaps? It would appear so. I need to get my, uh... Okay, man. I need to get my mana back up a little bit. From what angle?
Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of running around so my mana goes back up, or at least I can get healed. Looking for some objectives. Hello there, actually. Oh, man. Son of a bitch. Might die here. Oh, we're good. Mod box. Oh, it's telling me twice. Do I carry health pots around still? I have some health pots. I'm just saving them for a boss fight potential. Time altar down there. This is the exact reason why uh, mana regen is so nice. Hello, Painites and Benetite. Oh shit. Oh shit. Found a dungeon. <laughs> I see name tags. Oh my god, the haste to insta mining. Oh my god, the haste to insta mine. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Don't you have somewhere to be? Double opal. This dude's got spawn protection. It's like kind of getting used to the fact that I deal decent damage without having to crit. So like, even if I'm at a lower angle, I can still just swing and be fine. It's interesting, like, getting into that mentality, though, when you're used to doing something for so long.
favorite vault theme so far. It's not gonna come as a surprise, but I really like the uh, the Coconut Island one. Yeah, baby. God, that is so nice. Are you kidding me? Two of those in one vault, two of the eggs. That's kind of crazy. Game's trying to get me to go Kajuria, man. You're looking at it right here. I see something else. I see another room that I do not normally find. And I want to go take a little look. Don't know what's going to be in there, but I got the time to, to take a check. Where was it? Was it over here? Yeah, it was. We got a library. I don't know what's in these. Or wait, is that a library or is that... No, actually, that might... What the fuck? What is this? I don't actually think this is a library. I don't know what you are. You're just a POI or something? Brother, back off! Don't jump up. God damn it. Stay away from me, Matt. Stay- Hey! What the hell? Hold on, hold on. Back off for a moment, okay? Hold on, we're gonna- Okay, we're gonna do a different way of doing this, man. Leave me- God- Dude! Oh my god, man. Just let me break it already, okay? I'm trying- Fuck. God damn it. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Am I unintelligent? Son of a bitch, just let me find the damn spawner. What is this? Good lord on my- are you- What the fuck? Did you see that tag team from the- the fighter? That dude nearly just- Brick the dude straight into me. They really got my ass. I hate this. I can't tell what the fuck's going on, man. Maybe this is why we don't dig into shit. You know what? We're saving this damn thing for another day. Or maybe just a different angle. Let me get a look down here. Yeah, it is a library. I gotta go in a second. I don't have too much time left in this village. Annoying ass mobs, man. Oh, it's a second spawner. That makes sense. Bro, I don't want anything in here. I'm not playing these vaults so goofy today. 
Chad, I'm sorry. This vault was completely chalked. We're going to run a second one, and things are going to be a lot better. So let me, let me get a little regain action going. There's a single... That's a big boy. Can you grab some health pots for time like this? Well, it's not exactly like... It's not like this is a conscious thing. It's because I took on that room and was just kind of silly about it. I normally would not... Would normally not do that. I hate you and I, I need you to understand that. What the f where did all these guys come from? Alright man, you know what? I need to regain. I need to reset and get out of this vault. I'm gonna do a mental reset real quick. That, that was just, that, that was just, uh, that one was, uh, that one, ooh. We did get two black opal out of there. Uh, now that was a good thing, but otherwise, we're gonna write that one off. We're just gonna go next. The pain I yield, the fortune four. Pain I believe, can I just ask you right now, how are you feeling? Actually, equal believers, how are you feeling right about now? I'm so sad that that's the turn that lost. Pretty good. Run a quick raffle. Just clicked off immediately though. Check it. Who was that? Yo, Chaos! Seeing the gladiator arena, boss. All right, let's run it up. Six ob on this one. South facing. I also really like this theme. I don't know. Deep slate. Deep slate is just such a beautiful building block, man. If Senor Slime has a million believers, I am one of them. If Senor Slime has one believer, I am that one. Oh my God, you if are. Senor Slime has no believers. I am dead. Not just no longer on this earth, just straight up dead. Gone from the ashes. Thank you, Deviate. Appreciate you. I got nothing here. Jeez. That is an empty, uh, empty gravel pit. The deal with the ghosts and the skellies here isn't, like, the best thing in the world. The skellies aren't too bad. The ghosts are a little bit annoying, though. It's because of the fact that I go in. That's the problem, man. I go in expecting to get knockback, even though I know for a fact that they don't take knockback. Give me that mind slot. Kind of miss the old gilded. That's the wrong way. What Omega room is that? The portal room? Whoa. How many vaults have those? <laughs> C 
chromatic toilet paper. You can't say these things out loud, all right? They already weren't happy enough of the fact that we called the uh, anvil and the uh, tool vice a toilet. It's not toilet paper, okay? It's silk. Get it right. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! God damn! The place you're listening to? Uh, I can link it after the I'm done with the vault. Just remind me when I'm out of the vault to link the place. I got you. Round two on this room, huh? Round two. That's a lot of stuff. I see a village room and two portals. My god. The living chest and drawers are getting fed today. Not doing that one right yet, okay? Magnet is uh, not something I'm a super big fan of at the moment right now, I'll be honest. Lord, forgive me for what I've done. Epic chest. I heard a spawner and I'm not too happy about that. Did he put a shulker in a chest? Does it smart? I guess that would be a situation where a dash bullet wouldn't be too bad of a thing. Hmm. I got chest to drop this off in real quick so I don't gotta hold on to it, my shulkers. More living? How'd you know I prefer being alive than not? Did 
Dude, the amount of knowledge that we're netting from this, though, is kind of crazy. Oh, a little bit of a scallium right there? Okay, man. And me? I don't mind if I do. <laughs> what do you mean you can't build on top of those things, man? Whatever, dude. What the hell did that guy just get pushed back from? What the hell went on there? It saw me and just backed off. What a guy. Jesus Christ! Got the whole armada on me in two seconds. Alright, man. I get it. I'm not that tanky. Put pizza in a chest? Or I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. Chat, stop talking to me. Either play for me or deal with the mistakes that I'm making. Did not reset it off the last of all the seams. Playing a little goofy right now, and I think that's just kind of something that I'm gonna have to deal with today. I would like to get in there if possible. That end room, it would seem. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Okay, all right. I was gonna say, a two for one before, and another one, that's, that's asking a bit much.
I was going to avoid this room entirely, but I wanted to see if there was a dungeon or something. I'm like, there's barely any POIs that I can see. There's got to be some good loot here somewhere. I still haven't quite adjusted for, to the fact that I replaced my eight hotbar slot with my ability cast key for vein miner. And now if I want to eat food, I have to like press a different hotbar slot and then do a scroll because I haven't rebounded to anything unique yet. I'm scared if I rebind it to something else that I'm going to wind up, like, getting used to that. And if I go back to playing normal Minecraft that's not here, it's going to, like, mess me up. I'm going to be like, what's happening? I'm using a sword because I got a good sword. I can't not use a good weapon. I got 20 damage sword with chaining 2 and poison and plus poison. What room are you? Crystal room. Oh boy. Hey, if I need painite, here's the way to get it. Relatively close to spawn as well. There's only one ore in this entire thing. <laughs> okay, man. Alright, you know what? I'm feeling a little scammed right about now, I'll be honest. Yeah, I can definitely tell that I'm playing, like, really slow right now, and I can kind of feel my head being a little full. I think it might actually be the, um... Uh... I forgot the name of it. I know postrom is like pre-migraine. Then postrom, I think, is uh prodrome postrom, I think it is. I think I got a little bit of uh migraine lingers from the one that I had yesterday. It doesn't really like a big deal or anything, but it just explains why I'm playing a little like airheaded in my decisions. The brain do be weird. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I thought I saw Echo. That looked weird. Back off me. I have business to take care of. Oh yeah, I thought the spawner underneath the Benetite was, uh... <laughs> I thought that was Echo. Whoa! What a dive bomb from a spider! Yo. We have here Sparkle Teen. Do I see Sparkle Teen? I think I do. Not my number one MCC player. Tell me how I can make it up to you. Tell me a way. Oh, 
Thought that was Echo for a second. But it was Xenium. No problem in that. No problem at all. Black Opal. I feel like we got the entire room. No, there's nothing down there. And that's the way that I traveled initially. Did we excavate this entire room? Was there just not a lot in it? Oh no, there's one more up here. Okay. Now I think we're done with this room. Yeah, now we've cleared hey, it out. Pete love the content. Do you feel that item rarity affects what ores you are getting? Feel that item rarity affects what ores you're getting? What ores? Oh, do you mean like from the world when it generates? No, it's strictly chess. It's strictly chess and nothing else. Thank you very much for the resub, though. Appreciate that, Adders. Thanks for the eight months. Yeah, the sword's pretty, uh, the sword's pretty good. Is that a double seven? Am I looking at a double seven rope? Oh my god. Oh my god, nothing will ever beat that. Nothing will ever top that. So lost all my experience because I thought it was a 23 and not 32. <laughs> uh, sick. I gotta loot this, then we gotta get out of here. Alright, we just, uh, we gotta get out of here. Game's lagging just a slight bit. How are the vaults today, sir? Oh, gems from ores? No, no, those are all separate entirely. Is this the room right here? It is the room. Are the vaults today? Vaults are... They're okay. They're doing alright. My well, boots are actually taking a beating, though. Nothing but darkness and despair. I'm assuming you're asleep right now. Greninja, I've been going live at like 10 p.m. my time and ending off at like 10 a.m. I started today's stream at 12.30. I woke up at 7 p.m. 
Oh, 6K experience! God damn! Well, that's impressive. Hey, give me the black opal and the painite. Give me the, uh, give me the gems. Show me some more love. Show me some better love than what I had before. Okay, that was really good. That was pretty good. How many is this? 15? Uh, you're not terrible. Not a great return. Hey, me. Okay. Hey, for five. Not that great. Who did I? One from one. Jordan? Two from one. Okay. Ashium? Scallium? Oh my god. Zane, please, god! Thank you for that. Now to make it up? Yes. Yeah! I gotta do it. We gotta do it. Come on now. Run me up better than before. Give me that mining speed. Give me that socket. Okay. Could be better. Really not all that great. What do we need? Chromatic steel ingots. I got plenty of those. Why am I going over there? I have a storage right here. Crafts one pickaxe? The addiction is real. I mean, like, you're not wrong. 4.9. Bro, it's the fourth one every time. Literally, what the fuck is happening? Dude. I know I already have the socket unlocked, but, like, if I can't at least get a second socket, what is the point, man? Ew. No. Error. Good night, slime boss. Happy days. My life is changing a little. Uh... So I am changing my sleep pattern up and waking up earlier. What a sad scav. Double earrings. What the hell's going on with that guy's movement? Where'd you guys come from? Oh, now this spawner's gonna spawn. Everything's gonna be bad. Woo! We buy gold piles. Didn't really need anything in them, to be fair, but... Hmm? I kind of want to do this scab as the thing. Like, I don't know how much time I want to spend just, like, looting chests that aren't here, but... Whoa, you came back around, bud. Yeah, I don't know. I think I want to focus on the scav. I know it's literally two Omega items. But, like, what? So, Creeper Eye from Living... How you doing? Like, I don't know. There's a couple of rooms that we could get that are fairly common challenge rooms that could net us a good pull on this. Just kind of have to beeline for those. Village room, Wild West room, both those hit, and I'm nearly good. But I'll still look around for, you know, good POIs. It's a cool little waterfall area. What's up, mobs? Mm. 
Not from there. Gotta be careful not rushing into ambush spawners super fast in this vault because of creepers. Jesus, hello everybody. Where the fuck are you all coming from? Where are the mobs coming from? Dude, that creeper's just like me, for real. He's getting knocked around, can't do anything about it. What the hell? Where are you coming from? Okay, everybody, are we good? Just asking for a friend, you know? Thank you. Just wanted to check and see if I can maybe get a little cheeky piece of gear from that. Glad I got some soul shards, though. Jesus. I guess I actually kind of want to go down there and check and see what that is, though, because that might be a dungeon. No, oh, it's a living chest area. Let's see. Still worth it for me to have gone down there. Omega without an Omega item. Sag. Where a dungeon could have spawned. Well, that was fun. Life altar. <laughs> Minus one million mana. All right, one million blue soda. Yeah, sure. A regular chest spot. Not a square vault. Kind of sad. Can vaults be locked this season? If they can be, none of us are at the level where that modifier would show up. Me, Abe, and Iskel, I believe, are the three people as the highest level. And I think all of us are running Soul Flame vaults at the moment, so we also aren't seeing any modifiers in the first place. My money. Hey, I'm working on it. I promise, boss. I I got the the soul flame magnet on and everything. Chat can tell you. I mean, I don't need chat to tell you because I'm telling you. But I'm getting your money. Look, look at my magnet. Fifty percent soul shards. I'm get I'm getting your money, boss. You give me you give me like two hours or like one hour, thirty minutes, fifteen, ten minutes. Give me ten minutes. It'll be in your. Uh, I'll wire it over. Thank you for the rose, XQCL. Um, I see those down there. I kind of want them. I think this should lock co-op vaults with afterlife instead of killing everyone. Well, it's only the beginner's grace is the reason why that happens. Regular co-op vaults, the ghost uh, feature gets implemented again. Although I swear I thought Iskel had mentioned like that they there was a suggestion given that. 
I don't know, there's like a better alternative than just having everybody die if it was a beginner's grace vault. But I don't remember what that was. Ain't nothing up here. I'm like trying to scan around rooms a little bit, but also with the high demand of Omega items that I need from here. I'm kind of trying to be okay with like just moving on to a next room in case I hit a challenge room. Because those might be the only way that I uh, really complete this vault in the first place. Not very fond of baby zombies. Things in there. Has no sword trading you? I could get used to it. Oh, hello, drop off point. You know, but just imagine that I found everything in this one room. Wouldn't that be crazy? Two earrings in both these chests. That's right. I really had you guys thinking about it. That's crazy. Anything in here that we care about? Not really. So drop off point basically east of the spawn room. Oh, hello. Hello? Unfortunately, this isn't the Omega that I need two of, but I am curious if we can maybe make something work here. I went to the complete wrong side. What a fool I am. Is it over here? Wait, what the hell? Is my brain not working? I mean, it literally isn't, but... Oh, yep, complete wrong side. Drowned hide. Some skeleton bone shards. I know the skelly bone shards are rares. And I think that's the epic. No creeper eyes. I've barely ever seen creeper eyes in scavs, to be fair. Understandable why it's an omega piece, but yeah, that's just an item that really does not come up very often at all.
Miss some souls, miss some loot, missed an egg. You know what? I miss Prime Cartoon Network. That's what I miss, chat. Miss my wife? I miss your wife too, dude. Not a yeah, it is. Why can't I click it from there? Was I just not looking at the damn thing? Terror Shatterer. Hey, we got Haste 2. Probably working on getting Haste 3 next. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Might honestly consider upgrading Dash as our next uh, skill point investment. I feel like that could be quite nice. I am a Dash Enjoyer. Well, It wasn't an ambush spawner. Silly me, I thought it was. I don't know why. I see that in there. I think it's just regular chest, though. days you know what i don't have time for oh you're so doable as well man i could do this i i think i want to spend some time getting at least some of this stuff first See, my migraine allows me to block clutch in the way I'd like to in this vault right about now. If I've got time, I would feel so dirty about going into one of these rooms and not looting the blocks in the side. Just from how uncommon these rooms are, man, like... I feel like you can't do that. You gotta try and equalize out. Especially if I'm spending an Omega. Good block. Whoop! He slipped! We'll do the top really quickly so I don't have to go back up. Do you have an Omega? I do have an Omega piece, yeah. One epic. Oh, the inventory lag is killing me. Two epics.
Got six minutes, and the problem is that I'm also going to have to try and get the, uh, the loot that's in here with how full my shulker boxes already are. Oh, God. All right. Um, we'll do this lower bit in the interest of time. Don't care if I'm not picking up commons. I literally have a million of them. I think with the fact that we're soul flaming, I might invest another pog into a pick a ring. Just for these rooms alone. I really do not think it would be a bad play. I don't know how far away I am from, uh, the exit. This won't take too much time. I think I've got enough time if I stay being quick. Not doing what I'm doing right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. No Omegas from this? Ah, oh, brother. All my shulkers are full, dude. Oh my god, man. I might honestly... I don't know, dude. Fuck. That was so bad. <laughs> I might not loot this. I don't know. Might opt to not loot this, just because I don't really have a lot of inventory room to do anything. Yeah, I think I'm gonna dip. I don't think I'm looting this room. I'm not gonna be able to carry everything back in my inventory and everything and get out of the vault safely. I have one Omega, I'll save it for the next time I come across one of those. Just not worth it right now. Honestly, man. Oh god, pouches are looking nicer by the day. For scavs, man, and the amount of blocks that I'm picking up, especially with the haste and the vein miner that I'm using, man. Like, I'm running out of inventory real fast. I don't know, dude. Pouches aren't too expensive to craft. It's more the uh, filter upgrades that start becoming a big deal. It's like the filter upgrades and the uh, knowledge of actually unlocking in the first place. We were on the opposite side of this as well, too. I think I made a pretty good decision not to loot. As much as that kind of sucks, man. Like, what if we got, like, two Omegas and we were to set for the next three puzzle rooms? You know what I mean? So we're going to do a little bit of hmm, counseling after we're out of this vault. I got I to gotta think about some stuff here. I don't know if the enlarged blood vessels in my brain will allow that at the moment, but uh, we got to do a little bit of conversating. The pouches are the dang of the season. Vault pickaxe. One of you. Thank you very kindly. Good. You know, maybe it was the... Um, maybe it was the pick speed that wasn't really all that great. What if we try reach instead, you know? Because, like, reach could also be really good if we're trying to break spawners, right? Like, maybe the mining speed wasn't the right play. Like, maybe we should try out reach for a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, God, that's horrible. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. But, like, what if we went a little further? Okay, 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 okay. Reach 2.28. Not bad. 
Not bad at all. We got, uh, we're one away from a second socket. One away from a second socket. Got it. Um, so I know we have the getting sturdy jewel, but shoveling, shoveling is what? Black chromatic stealing it. And then the gorgeous gem, which is eight gems and a perfect alexandrite. And then where is the axing one? Axing is the xenium jewel. All right, so xenium gemstone, eight xenium, and the black chromatic steel ingot. Man, I really... Oh, man. Because I would, I would really love to just, like, have reach with this, right? With the haste and everything. Throw on with two sockets, both shoveling and axing, and just run this bitch. You know what I mean? Not have to carry a shovel, and we'd just be able to use it as an axe whenever we wanted to. On top of the pouches... Being able to, uh, like, just be able to vein mine anything we wanted to, that'd be kind of nice, you know what I mean? So I don't have the pain to be able to make this yet, but unfortunately it's just gonna have to stay there, um, because I don't want to invest a, uh, jewel into it and then modify it further and have it break, but we are one modifier off from that being good. So let's do a little conversating, yeah? Do we have any knowledge of this inside of here? We don't. In here, we have 13, and in here, we don't have any. Okay. How much knowledge justice do we have? Canal. We got 206 in here. Knowledge shard 22. We got 78. That is nearly enough for 10 knowledge if we wanted to do that that way. We need the knowledge core. So that's vault diamond and 16 benetite. Benetite we have three extraordinaries already and 108 and one benetite or on the ground that I'm going to break and it's going to give me five because smile. Surely you give me five Benetite to drive the point home. Hey, if that's your way of getting back at me, I'm going to keep saying that every time before I break an ore. You tell me that I won't. Three off one, not bad. That's, that's pretty freaking excellent. Now what about Vault Diamonds? Vault Diamonds we have a stack of, so that would be enough for eight. So we do have the means, if we wanted to, to be able to get up to belts. Because this would cost six overall. Pouches would cost one. Double pouches would increase by one, so that would cost two. And then belts would increase by one, that would cost three. Backpacks would be, what would that be? Five at that point? Yeah, it'd be five at that point. And then uh, big backpacks would be eight at that point, so that would be a little bit more expensive. So that would give the third tier stack upgrade, the advanced pickup upgrade, filter upgrade, deposit upgrade, and restock upgrade. Refill upgrade and stack upgrade. Got it. Now let's take a look and see what the uh, recipes are for that. Not pouches. Uh, sophisticated. So pouch again is a bundle. Magic silk. We have plenty of those. Laramar and Baldus is not an issue. Double pouches. Pouch with a magic silk block. Laramar Gems, Vault Essence, and Perfect Laramar. Okay. And a Loot Belt, which is the next tier. It's two of those double pouches. Magic Silk, Extraordinary Laramar, and a Laramar Gem up top. Now, the thing is, you can have multiple of these because they do go on your back. They do. That's the nice thing about these. They have a slot. You can kind of see it above me right there, but it does give the option to throw it onto your back on your bobbles. So, right here. So you could set up a hotkey and just go into your inventory that way. But you can have multiple. If we wanted to, we could craft multiple of those. Um, outside of that, the small backpack requires... There's a little pricier now. A Pog, two Magic Silk, more Laramar and Bald Essence. And then the big backpack requires... Extraordinary Echo on top of an Echo Pog. So, 32 Echo, four Pogs, 32 Laramar. That's a bit of a pricey boy right there. You can kind of see where the uh, late game is on that one. Now, in terms of upgrades, pickup upgrade. Oh, uh, okay. Um, we're lacking redstone, but we can always go on a mining venture. Upgrade base. So the upgrade base requires magic silk, chromatic iron, and a good bit of a little bit of Laramar. It's not a lot. We we've got a few. Uh, advanced pickup upgrade. We got the gold sorted. Vault Diamonds, Chromatic Steel, okay. Uh, filter Upgrade, same upgrade base. This is where the compressed blocks of redstone are kind of a big thing. Advanced Filter Upgrade, we don't get until backpacks. That's big backpacks for feeding. 
Void upgrade we don't get yet. Restock upgrade? Oh. I do have one Echo sitting on the ground in front of me. Oh, you need to use a belt to make the restock upgrade. You gotta spend a belt to make that. Interesting. And the advanced restock upgrade is the restock upgrade with... Okay, so that's actually not that huge. Uh, deposit upgrade? Oh my god. So the restock upgrade and deposit upgrade both take a loot belt and an echo gem. It's busted? Not really. I don't think so. Refill upgrade with double pouches, cost a double pouch, upgrade base, and an ender watcher, which is compressed blocks of redstone, vault diamond, eye of ender, and obsidian. Okay. Stack upgrades here. One is compressed blocks of iron. God bless for the iron farm. Chromatic iron, perfect laramar. Stack upgrade two from double pouches is chromatic iron blocks, compressed blocks of gold, and extraordinary laramar. Stack upgrade three with belts, which we would have, is compressed blocks of diamond. Ooh, man. Extraordinary Laramar and Chromatic Steel ingots. And then stack upgrade four, which we don't have to worry about, is Black Chromatic and Perfect Echo Gems. Here's the pitch. Why don't we go on a nice, calming, redstone mining venture? Just down into the caves, let's grab some redstone, think about life, and decide if we want to uh, invest in our time. Because on the surface, we've honestly been... As much as I want to get into Create... We've honestly been doing pretty good in terms of overworld infrastructure, just making vanilla farms. What do we have locked down right now? We have a good amount of mob drops from the mob farm that I've turned off. This isn't running right now because I didn't want to overfill my chest. We have cactus, cacti. We have honey bottles and honeycomb once I can get that sorted out over there. We've got iron. I need to get these farms upgraded at some point. We'll take care of that. We have villager trading, essentially done in lockdown. Anything I need to trade for villagers, we're good. We have gold now, so any gold requirements through crafting or through the altar is set up and good. We also have a location on Slime Chunk. Was thinking about getting a Slime Chunk done at some point, possibly. Slime Chunk could be something that we do because that's one thing that I haven't really set up at the moment and slimes are going to be bottlenecking us at some point in time. Yeah, there's a few options that we have, but... And I'm not really ready for create right yet, so maybe... And here's the other thing. Here's kind of the other thing, too. Other people on the server are getting, like, pouches and big pouches and stuff. It's gonna get to a point where if I don't upgrade pouches, everybody's gonna come in here watching me vault run and be like, This is painful as fuck. Please stop using shulkers. My viewing experience, baby rage. So, you kind of need to upgrade with the tide of the server in that light because viewers are going to get used to the good and i don't want y'all to come in here and see a subpar uh vaulting experience where i can't loot an omega room that i have the prerequisites for because i don't have fucking inventory space <laughs> inventory full of shulkers fuck pouches you feeling you feeling you believe in that yeah you're awfully close to that part already all right listen at least I'm having a conversation now and not tomorrow. Very sick pouches are configured one to filter stuff really well and it's great. That's sick. Yeah, I would love to just mess around with it too, I think. Yeah. This guy's got level one pouch. Didn't see much improvement over shulkers. That's why we're going to probably be jumping straight into the belts, I think. Go for the fanny pack. Might not be a bad idea. All right, let's do a little bit of uh, redstone mining. I'm going to throw on my... Uh... R&B rap hip hop playlist for a little bit. Good raffle mode too. Not a bad shot to be honest.
80 from... Don't know how many ore. Eighty from don't know how many or Chat, this is what my heart looked like when I'm with you. Do you do you feel the same way? Tell me. Two thousand red send us. I think that's good. Yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah, that was good. That was, uh, yeah, I don't know about the compressed block of diamond or anything like that, but, you know, that wasn't too bad. The thing is, though, is, uh, my vault running at the moment's a little bit painful. Um, it's, it's kind of ass with, uh, shulkers, I'll be honest. I'm starting to, uh, with the fact that I have, like, haste 2 and speed 2 and vein miner and, like, all this stuff that I've been using, my inventory bringing, like, five shulkers along with me is just... Yeah, um... Not great, so I'm thinking we dump into pouches and try this out. We're not going to be able to get backpacks or big backpacks for a bit, I'm assuming. But we have the knowledge to be able to do it, and I looked at the recipes, and I don't think it's that big of a daunting task. So I think we're going to... I've got the Benetite. I think we're going to rock with it. I already have three extraordinary Benetite, so we'll chuck those in there. Craft up the remaining three and dump you in. We have the Vault Diamonds as well, too. Six knowledge cores. Knowledge stars. Six knowledge stars. That's a beautiful, beautiful number. We're going to need to get there eventually. Or we just go all out from the beginning, you know what I mean? Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Oh! Why is this so? I don't think this is supposed to be that cheap. I don't think it's supposed to be two. I think it's supposed to be three. Bug. All right. So we're gonna um. We're gonna, we are going to, we're gonna do a little, um, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little, we're going to, um, we are, we're gonna, um, just, uh, oh man, that was such a, uh, an expensive, Wow, we have one unspent knowledge point extra. I must have made more knowledge stars than I, I thought I, uh, than I thought I did. Man, I don't know what what happened there. That was strange. Hey, let's uh, let's do a little bit of crafting of some pouches, yeah. Maybe do a little bit of um, maybe do a little bit of some sophisticated backpack pouching, yeah. We already did all of that. We can get rid of those. So second ones, um, double pouch. We can select those and loot belts. Surely I have enough here with the magic silk. Yeah, we've got a few of those. Don't know how many we'll need, but we can make... Eh, we can make 12 of you for right now. 239, not bad. Okay. 
So we'll start off with a pouch, bundle, magic silk, everything like that. Now bundles are made with magic silk and rabbit hide. We killed some rabbits a bit ago. Yeah, we got 30 rabbit hide. It's not bad. We should be able to get by with that. All right, we'll chuck a bundle in there. Drop a little pouch down. Very nice. Very cool. So this is what a pouch looks like. Fairly basic. It's a shulker with a couple of little buttons on the side. And the nice thing about it is that you can chuck this in your inventory and throw it in your back. So yeah, pouch, pretty simple. Um, the first tier of this also allows us to unlock pickup upgrade and stack upgrade. So pickup upgrade costs. That's a little bit on the pricier side. I say pricier because we've been using a lot of magnetite ingots in uh, creating a lot of magnets. So actually, how many... How much magnetite do I have? Oh, I've actually got a good amount. I've also got a magnet that's on low durability. Low durability. <laughs> um, could make a few more of these in the meantime then. Magnet crafting has been fun, by the way. I think Abe was doing it yesterday, and I tried it out yesterday for the first time too. It's it's cool. I don't know who else in the server has really messed around with magnets yet, but they're fun, man. I'm surprised it's taken me this long to like really... Uh, you know, demo them out for the first time. But no, magnets are, uh, magnets are pretty sick. Anyway, pickup upgrade. That's the compressed block of redstone. But the upgrade base is perfect Laramar, vault essence, chromatic iron, and magic silk block. Okay, so we'll do a little favor to view. And if I could get some Laramar, how much perfect do I have? 12? Uh, we can improve on that. Do maybe a cheeky little 8. Well, I might have misclicked. So we've got a lot of perfect Laramar now. <laughs> I forgot that, uh... God bless your heart for the three-on-one. So, hey, we might need to run some vaults to get some Laramar. It's fine. It's mostly perfect anyway. Like, literally, it's uh, it's never been more fine than right now at this moment in time. We got some upgrade bases, and I learned a valuable lesson today. As soon as my client lagged, I knew exactly what was going to happen. Anyway, uh, pickup upgrade. Now, there is an advanced pickup upgrade as well, too. This one requires the basic pickup upgrade, and we have it. Monster with 100 bits, just like a magnet. You're hella attractive. Man, you can't be saying that right now. I would have gotten you someone from Starbucks with a compliment like that. Come on, man. Make sure this isn't any of the uh, magnets that I'm actually using that I care about before I dump that to myself. Please craft one more magnet for the time. Thank you. Pick up upgrade. Good. Chuck that regular magnet in. And where's my other magnets? There we go. These are both just standard ones that we're not doing anything. Does it need to be a full... Does it need to be a full magnet? Interesting. Is there no more magnet durability opportunities? Hmm. Where's the other magnet? Wait, I never crafted the other magnet. Magnet. Go in there, and sophisticated, pick up upgrade, good. It does need to be a full magnet. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, like, you guys are pretty happy that you're able to do that with crafting and core requirements, and you can't just use, like, a burnout magnet. It's good. It's, yeah, it's nice, it's good. Alright, pick up upgrade, what do we got here? Mace backpack, pick up items, pick up settings, block, match backpack contents, and allow. So, I'm imagining then, if we have it set to this, and we have a magnetite ingot in the pouch, then I throw a magnetite ingot on the ground, and then also throw an ender chest on the ground. If I walk over to this, it goes in my inventory. If I walk over to this, it goes into my backpack. Or my pouch, rather. That's pretty cool. That's really nice. Okay. And then the advanced pickup upgrade has more filtering options. That requires two vault diamonds. How many vault diamonds do I have at the moment? Ooh, yeah, that's where I really wish that the glitch wouldn't have happened because I could definitely have used uh, eight more vault diamonds at the moment. 
Might need to uh, get a few more of those bad boys. Um, maybe also check the other upgrades to make sure that these don't require a ton of vault diamonds before I uh, gate myself out of things that I actually need. So the restock upgrade, that's the loot belt. Do these require vault diamonds? Thankfully, they don't. God bless. Refill upgrade that we have. That's Ender Watcher. That requires two. The refill upgrade will be probably something that we want to mess around with. So we need two vault diamonds for that. Stack upgrades here. One requires layer mark, compressed iron. So, okay. So we're not needing anything else except for the, um, the pickup upgrade needed it for the vault diamonds. And the advanced pickup upgrade needs it as well, too. So let's get a little bit of a uh, job on this bad boy. Compressed blocks of gold. How much gold do I have in here? 280. Well, I've got plenty of gold somewhere else in the world, but we can deal with that later. Let's just make three compressed gold blocks. Thank you very kindly for that. And I think that's everything, right? Yep. Where is my pickup upgrade? We're going to give you a little makeover, bud. Into an advanced pickup upgrade. Oh my god. So what kind of options do you offer me now? Oh. Match item. Ignore durability and ignore NBT. Match NBT. Very cool. Okay, so we get a little bit of NBT filtering on this. Sweet. And the match item, match mod, match tags. That's sick. Okay. Yeah. Item, mod, tags. So if we were to do like mod, for example, that's from the vault. Match mod, ignore MBT and everything, and allow. So in that case, if we throw like vault dust on the ground, vault meat on the ground, a magnet, but then also iron, some poppies, and some compressed netherrack. Everything from the vault mod should go into my backpack. That is really cool. That's really nice. I'm kind of pegging out a little bit on that one, yeah. Jeez, so you could have like specific bags for certain mods. Oh yeah, that's really nice. That's really, really cool. Will the vault mod filter also grab scav? I would imagine so. I mean, it's from the vault mod. Anything from the vault mod would go into here. Um, it's actually true. I do wonder, um, are there any tags specifically on here? Let me see one tag. Minecraft parable, Paris spawnable on. Interesting. Uh, we can get rid of you. Match tags. Yeah, you can't be entered in or anything like that. I figured. Okay. Well, that's cool. So that's a little bit of messing around with the uh, filter system. Minor chats. I got Omega flamed on Reddit for not including thanks in the pack. I mean, like, but you could have had both, right? Like, ob clearly, obviously, you know what I mean? Like, you could clearly, obviously, you could have just added that. Why'd you not add thanks in, man? Thanks for like my favorite mod. I I loved putting uh opening up my dank and if I took an item out wrong, seventeen out of the thirty five available slots would just disappear and then five different duplicates would overwrite themselves on the dank itself. That was like my favorite part, man. You expect me to just have like a clean gameplay experience? What the hell's wrong with you? A lot of people don't know how broken Danks were. Hellfire and I had some headache-inducing pains with uh, Danks and crashing. I think it was, uh, what was it? Danks, the Dank dock would crash if I tried to take a Dank out of the dock if I had a magnet enabled. There was some weird dependency that was like a very common occurrence, but... Hey, I'm not knocking Danks. They got the job done, and they're good. They're buggy, but they did the job. I think it'll just be nice to have sophisticated backpacks in place of them, though. Anyway, let's probably take everything out of the pouch, though, before we do anything else, because uh, we're going to be upgrading you, bad boy. What do we need now? Double pouch with everything? Can we just, like, slap that down right there? Oh my god, we can. Oh my god, a double pouch. So from the makers of nine slots on each row and three rows, I bring you... Oh. Ah, right, damn! That's a full double chest in your inventory, but not just in your inventory. What about on your back? Well, that's good. 
that's real good and we got three filters so what do we get from the double pouches second tier stack upgrade and refill upgrade which can automatically refill a slot or several slots in your inventory with a specified block so the refill upgrade the refill upgrade requires an ender watcher upgrade base compressed and also a double pouch itself so let's do a little bit of a backing up real quick here let's make another pouch hold on a second let's make uh probably make a couple of bundles as well too if we're going to be doing with all this i've got a few rabbit hide yeah we can do eight for right now make a pouch chuck that in there make another double pouch take that out of there perfect and then the that's a restock upgrade not the refill upgrade refill upgrade an ender watcher that's compressed i have ender what am i missing from this i have enders understandable um yeah, refill upgrade, Ender Watcher, Eye of Ender. Surely I have the one single blaze rod that I knew I needed for this exact moment in time, and I should have farmed while I was in the nether. Obviously. <laughs> refill upgrade, Ender Watcher. My very limited vault diamonds. Slam that back down. Give me my double pouch. Beautiful. Thank you. Keeps refilling stack of selected items in player's inventory. I gotta try this, and I gotta see. So before we do it, where is my stack upgrade tier one? Need my compressed blocks of iron. I also need to just make iron in, into blocks in general. So we can grab some of our iron, turn these into a good amount of blocks. Thank you. Inventory lagging just a little bit. That's fine. Okay, iron. 21 compressed blocks. Perfect. Throw the rest of them in there. Thank you much. And that should be it. Cool. So stack upgrades here one. Multiplies the number of stacks that it can fit in a slot by two. And then stack upgrades here two. That requires chromatic iron blocks. I don't know if I have chromatic iron smelted at the moment. I definitely don't. All right. We're going to take a little bit of an intermission period while I do a little bit of a smelt job here. Okay. So how about some chromatic iron blocks by chance? We'll do a little bit of these really quick, maybe. That would be very good. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out again. So stack upgrade tier two. Extraordinary Laramar. You know what? Honestly, like, it's totally fine that we did this. Literally, like, we we have Laramar now. It's fine. It's completely fine. <laughs> If it allows you to, um, if it allows you to put multiple into here and clicking it doesn't give you the multiple because it takes five. Why am I crafting more? <sighs> Want to buy Laramar? Uh, in purest form. Thank you. Callum, do you have any Laramar? I could use, if you have, please, boss. Rip the turtle shells? This is a good thing, actually, for me, I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm not messing with this. Leave me alone. Can I just have my stack upgrades here, too, please? Where is the, the thing for it? Where do I go? This with extraordinary... Thank you. What do I need more of? Do I need more gold? Okay. Well, that's awkward because I literally have a gold farm and I have to go get gold from the gold farm. Okay, cool. So we have the advanced filter upgrade and we have the refill upgrade now, which we worked on. And I guess the only other thing now would be the stack upgrade, which we wanted to get working on. I think I already have the stack upgrade one. Yes. All right. Let's get the stack upgrade two then, which is the extraordinary Laramar and the compressed blocks of gold. Somehow didn't make the other compressed block of gold. Can we please do that? Thank you for your time. Thank you for your mind. Stack upgrade two. Perfect. Okay. Stack three, you can't make that. It's built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the stack upgrade two. Okay, cool. So stack upgrade two. Refill upgrade and advanced pickup upgrade. Basically fills off the entire backpack. So now with stack upgrade two, multiplies the number of stacks that can fit in a slot by four. If we have a bunch of netherrack, this can now go up to 256 in a single slot. Which is pretty damn nice. So a compressed netherrack would be just about like, say we had 
two slots in our backpack with uh, netherrack. In fact, actually, what if I put them... I mean, this will probably just kind of weird things out, but, like, what if we put them down here? And then if we had netherrack in our nine slot right now, and we took a look at the stack upgrade, or refill upgrade, rather, refill settings, how do you work? Can I put... Oh. I see. Interesting. So... Oh! Oh, that is nice. That's pretty cool. And then I guess we could just make a couple more of these as well, too, and not need the shulkers. Because if you have multiple, like, let's go ahead and let's just do that then, right? How many pouches do I have? I don't think I made any additional pouches, right? No, I didn't. But I did make some additional bundles. And then double pouches takes one of these. Right, okay. So that is magic silk blocks. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you very kindly for that. We can do two more of these for the time being, and then two more of you. And then I guess the thing is, for the other double pouch that we'll have, low on Laramar. Thank you for rubbing salt in the wound. Um, we would also need like the upgrades on here as well, but we wouldn't need like the refill upgrades since that would just be the one that's like. On our back, we don't need that for here. We'd probably want some kind of uh, storage or stack upgrade. And then I guess the filter upgrade could also work too. Because the thing is, if we had the filter upgrade for pickup, what if we took these off? We put it on here with a double stack upgrade. And then we could also have this one be the uh, refill upgrade as well. Right? And so we could do netherrack here, and then refill settings for backpack settings. Memory settings, select you. So then that could give... And we could also do the healing pots as well too. Maybe we could have us be over... Down here then, right? And so doesn't that allow me to stack 16 and 1? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's real nice. And then same with here. 510. Wouldn't that allow me, uh... <laughs> Thousand twenty four, and we're refilling on nether rack. Oh, and we're refilling on health pots. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. So that's our refill, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Could put food in it, too? You are also not wrong. So then we could set golden carrots as well, too. Set those to refill. Oh my god, man. Oh, and not even- not even just that. Literally not even just that. Hold on a moment. Bro, are we forgetting the ender balls? It's 
256 pearls. God damn. God damn. Throw a pearl. Right back in before the cooldown's even up again, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. And then we set up the healing pots. So like, you know, you give an example. You throw one down and it's already good to go again. Eyes of Ender. I mean, I have... Oh, did I not put it? Oh yeah, I've got the stuff in here. Hold on. I might as well like just do this for right now. So strength potion, then blaze powder. Uh, then you and you and you and you. Yeah, the green puzzle, pink puzzle, yellow puzzle, and blue puzzle concretes. I almost, I swear to God, I almost did it again. Oh my God, man. So advanced pickup upgrade and stack upgrade tier one on you. And then for vanilla boy, same thing. Pickup upgrade, just a basic pickup upgrade. But I guess I'm also going to do the same thing here. I don't know why I keep doing that, man. I got to get better at this. Stack upgrade tier one. Because we could do stack upgrades tier two if we wanted. We could, honestly. I mean, shulker box, you want to get rid of by... <laughs> Well, Chosen, you could not have uh, asked that at a better time. It's crazy, but I might just be selling some colored shulkers. I lost all my chests last night. Uh, I've got 11. Actually, I've got 12. Thank God you can look in the inventory. That is really... Dude, look at this. Oh my God, my shulker. Oh, I've got to take my backpack and do this. No. Just press B on here and grab it from there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Any color breath? Got green. Different shade of green. Blue. Blue if there was no blue and it was white instead. Vanilla. Can you cover since arrows can refill? Either way, they take one inventory spot. No, if they were in the uh, if they were in the backpack, it would take two. And he's fine. Lime and green, it is then. Cool. Thanks for the boxes. How the fuck did you do that? <laughs> How did you do that? Thanks for the boxes. Dude. The <laughs> said thanks for the boxes. Thanks for the boxes. <laughs> Bro, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> what is that block? It's a speaker. Wait, that's sick. Speaker block. Planks and, and emerald. Supplementaries. Dude, that's so cool. You're welcome. Uh, it's time. Let's go. Scavenger, please? Could not have thought of a worse vault to start off in. Hello, snowy vaults. Three ob. Well, hey, you know what? If it's a three obelisk and the first room is an ob. Um. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to leave that. I know it's a co-op strategy. But I think I'm going to leave the OB for the, uh, the first room. And we can go back to it at some point if we decide that we want to loot up a little bit more. And that way I'll know exactly where the obelisk is at. And also, speaking of Painite. Hello, Painite. Hello, Drowned. That haste is pretty good. Yeah, I'm just 
Okay. Well, let's uh, try it out. I don't know what all the... Oh, God. That's uh, interesting. You guys are fast running on snow, huh? So what tool do you need? I didn't know they break like this! I didn't know they break like the Gildas in Season 2 do! Oh, I love that! I literally just did not know because I've never like properly broken a chest, but I guess that makes sense of, uh... Okay, so do you need an axe then? No, do you need a shovel? Is it an axe? Oh, you're an axe to break. You just do... Interesting. So these are one break and then you're done. Versus ornates are... Huh. That is definitely an axe though. If I held up the pickaxe, it was significantly slower. Oh. So dash does get me out of powdered snow, which is nice to know. And I've also got pearls for that, which I need to be mindful of. If I get stuck in powdered snow, I can just pearl out from there. So then what if we, uh, oh my god, wait a minute. Uh, hold on. Controls, keybinds, uh, sort external inventory or target inventory. I want to switch that back to middle. Then key for middle. Select the usability taunts. <laughs> Let's do that on grave. I'm probably going to forget that, but... Oh, Christ, my tendonitis. My tenderloins. Okay. I don't know what it's going to take for us to be able to quickly loot regular chests and everything, but... Oh, boy. That'll be fun to figure out, won't it? Six of four golden carrots? How about six of four golden carrots? Ooh, that's so good. Oh, damn! The epic sword! That's nice. Ouch. Yeah, so it's still faster to do it like that. What do you got? 11 attack damage, healing plus. Baneful? Oh, you can reroll that like crazy. Or pay night. I was hoping that you just would take too long to get to me. Haste in a better axe, maybe? Well, I have haste too. Oh my god, my axe doesn't have efficiency on it. Oh my god, I actually have no idea how fast it is. My axe doesn't have efficiency. Oh, so maybe it's not too bad. Maybe it's not as bad. Yeah, I'm not the smartest. Um... But I'm kind of glad that's not what it is with, uh, efficiency 5. That makes me pretty excited. <laughs> Maybe we can attempt to kill a boss and possibly die in the process and, uh, then enchant our axe with efficiency 5 and try out again. Whew. I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of glad. Because that right there is... I mean, like, I'm still going to do this really quickly. Like, watch this. Bang, you know? Like, it's still, it's still cool. Oh, man. Yeah, pearls in this vault are kind of necessary. I know I used to carry around, uh, leather boots for not sinking in, but I think now with the difficulty of vaults and how much damage everything deals, leather boots would kind of be a death sentence. Uh, I say kind of. I think that's actually just entirely true. Oh my shit. Back off me, bud. Uh, it doesn't deal that much damage, actually. Okay. I thought, uh, trends were gonna be a lot more strong. They're not that bad. Yeah, I'm not a fan of looting chests like this. How do you break? Same way as ornates. God bless. Dude, why is it actually dealing damage to me? I 
Okay, so vein mining, that does not break the uh, chest to the right of it. No reason why it should have, to be fair, but yeah, I just wanted to confirm that really quickly, that for some reason they didn't share the same data to where... Oh, hello. Hi, guys. A trident and a nautilus shell. Oh my god, the A run of my life. Hey, how much damage do you deal to me? Don't know, I don't care. Oh, chill out, man. Hi. Whoa, Jesus Christ, that scared me. Hey, guys, how you doing? Watch the heels. Watch the heels. Literally got health pots in your inventory. You could throw them down if you wanted to. What is this? Is this one of the newer POIs? Huh. Cool. So in this instance right here where I'm low on health, And I don't even feel that bad doing that anymore because we got the gold farm. So now I got a use for all the uh, vault apples that we have. But uh, that was pretty good. Not complaining about that at all. I wait on my dash to regenerate real quick. <laughs> that might be one of the biggest things about backpacks outside of looting. It's just the survivability of using that tactic. Because, like, goddamn, that is the most important thing, a mana saver. The fact that I'm at near full right now, and if I don't take any silly damage, I can just basically regenerate up to, uh... Regenerate my mana up to full. It's good. Hello, treasure room. Hello, standard chests. Hey, break the spawner, maybe, boss? Ooh, hello, Gilded. Whoa, everybody. Whoa, everybody. Calm down there, bud. You as well. Oh, God. Get me out of there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not part to be a... That's not supposed to be a uh, vault mob. I wonder who's going to be the uh, first one on public release, or just any release, to die in a vault to an Endermite. Why is that enchanted? What was that enchanted with? Sharpness 17. Thank God I didn't get hit by that then. Being said, remember what I said it would be a mana saver and here I am sitting at zero mana? These things happen. I just don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to use my health potions too fervorously. 
So I'm going to be fighting a boss. I'd prefer to use most of them for that task. And not fighting these guys. Why do you have a trident? Why is there ever... Oh my fucking god. Hey, I found, uh... I found someone. Hey guys, I remember that my, uh, I remember what keybind my fear was on. That was a, that was a little uh, elite spooter in the corner there. Not a fan of this powdered snow underneath me either. I'll... Really was not expecting it to just open up that quickly. Um, I'm in a kind of a sticky situation. I'm surrounded on all sides. This is a very bad day. <laughs> hey, the good news is the pouches are working pretty well. Um, could do a pearl job. Pearl out of there, but I don't know where that would lead me to. There's a lot of friends around me. They don't know I'm here. <laughs> Actually, they kind of do. Oh yeah, no, they definitely do. They are try they are definitely trying to get to me. All right, I'm going to go a little bit further out from the uh vault room. Probably a good idea. Or right up to the edge of it would not be a bad plan. Brother, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Whack their ankles? I'm scared of the spider around me, man. Hey, guys. Is that elite spider chilling anywhere near you? Y'all y'all know where, uh, y'all know where mama is? I want to kill the elite. God damn, what a side quest. <laughs> oh my lord. Weren't we like uh, just trying to do this and then everything kind of went to shit? Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hey friends. See you later. Just sunk through the snow. Yeah, you know, don't know, don't care. I'm just gonna, um... Alright, dead end room? Okay. Draw some cacti. Looting by hand is definitely faster from what I can tell, though. Oh, mama. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to fight the boss. Give a little uh, tryout on the healing pots. I'm gonna see if I can just kind of beeline through a few rooms and, uh... Look for an objective. Do we got one right there? That's an altar of some kind. What kind of altar do we have? Time altar? Yeah, I don't think so, bud.
Hi, do you have Discord? Do you like to be my friend? Um, not really looking to make any friends at the moment, but if you want to hang around and watch the stream, that'd be kind of cool. I got public Discord you can hang out in if you want, but... Oh, I should have tried the hoe. I'm so tired of finding these with eight minutes left. Brother. Brother. My brother in Christ. Lost literally a million minutes to an elite spider. It wasn't even the elite spider. I can't even cope off of that. Bro. Oh my. Not that far off from home. I know that for a fact. I'm not that far off from home. I am not that far off from home. My inventory is clean. Oh my god, my inventory is so clean. I could not have thought of a better room to test the inventory in. The vault is so smart, man. What better what better place, what better room to test the, the vault inventory in than a mine room, right? Your inventory gets so full from all the stone and cobble on the walls and the gems and the ores. Like, this is perfect. Well, I, I don't know, I didn't think of this. The game is so smart, man. Incredible. Really, absolutely incredible. Look at this. Look at this. Amazing, really. I'm incredibly happy right now. <laughs> A reminder this time, now that we know, and I'm not just dumping every single skill point that I have into, uh... The vein miner, is that the ores are not very deep into the walls from everything that we can tell. We got, like, maybe four minutes in here at the most. One of these days, man. One of these days, we're gonna hit a mine room at, like, 20 minutes remaining, and it's going to be the best thing anyone's ever seen. Oh, my God! That's me! Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, man. Bro, what is it with Calum and Frail, dude? Is it the ball trying to tell him something? Yes, Black Opal. Come here, baby. I've missed you. I thought I already told you this, old man. You can't be here. It's mine. DVA really said, fuck it, dude. I'm taking the stream jokes into my own hands and just carrying stream content on the back. <laughs> they were the 500. Appreciate it. Oh my god, so many colors. What do I do with all this, man? So it's worth it to dig into, like, the near part of the walls, even if there aren't ores visible. From what I'm gathering. Yeah. So, like, the near part of the walls is going to dig it. <gasps> oh! <coughs> oh my god, I actually hurt my throat. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I can't wait to get zero from that. <laughs> our first echo or the series! Not our first echo gem! Not our first Echo Gem. We got one Echo Gem from... I don't even remember. Was it a mystery box? Oh, 
all my days, me oh my oh my. Oh, the altar is from an altar. Yeah, you're right. Actually, incredible for that. Black opal. Oh, dude. Yeah, no, we're leaving. We are. Uh, we are out of here. I am content with that. I am off. I'm going home. Gotta get out of here, though. Cool. Godspeed to me. Well, that was a little different than fighting the boss, I'll be honest. But I have no complaints. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, dude, I would have been... Oh, dude. I still could fight the boss. Just... Let me be an idiot for like two seconds, okay? Thank you. I'm literally at home. Is this home? This is literally the home portal. This is literally the home portal. What if we just like, but we can literally run away like lit. You know, now that I think about it, maybe fighting the boss like isn't the greatest idea. <laughs> Do it, no balls. Oh my god, you're right. God, I love life right now, man. Are you kidding me? Hey, the healing pots are, uh... <laughs> hey, the healing pots are a little good, aren't they? Yo, that's pretty good experience. <laughs> Afterlife Vault, by the way. <laughs> that ain't too bad. Yeah, it's... Okay, god damn, I was not... A... I... Okay. 1900 from chests, 9200 from mine blocks, 700 from mobs, and 4k for the objective. Good lord. One Afterlife modifier. There's the chests. Bombing Knight, 32 Pain Knight Ore, 23 Alexandrite, 39 Benetite, 1 Pizza Knight, 4 Sparkle Teen, hi Jordan, 1 Escalium, 2 Gorge Knight, 80 Laramar, 3 Tubium, 5 Black Opal, 3 Xenium, what's up Zen? 15 Wu and 512 Experience for our first Echo Ore of the series. Whew. And to think we nearly lost that vault to a... to a spider in a wall? <laughs> there was a moment where I was on three health and there was a spider in front of me, and I had to remember that I moved my, uh... my fear to grave, and I, I had, like, a stall in my brain. <laughs> oh, man. Nearly a full level off one vault. Jesus. Okay. Well, that works out pretty well. So, taking a look at this, you can see that, uh... This is all the stuff that went into our overfill inventory. And then we have this stuff right here. Uh, this actually is mostly because of... Well, not mostly, but a good part in the fact that we didn't have a second stack upgrade added. Because otherwise, we would have been able to have a stone and andesite fill onto here, and it would have been fine. So, it was nearly good for the entire vault. Almost good, but nearly good for the entire vault. Jesus, man. Yeah, the health pots are, uh, yeah. Polar Bear's 64. Boss is 8 XP. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Alright, hey. What you got in here for me? Hey, so the backpacks, like I said, they work really well. <laughs> 
what do you what do you have in here for me? What do you got? So a mode of pure. I don't know exactly what I got from the crate because it stacked a little bit over here. Uh, a mode of purity, four carbon, eight vault meat, a common plus um, unidentified vault axe, and a scrappy plus unidentified vault boots. And some assortment of other things, but you can see right here that the uh, filter pickup for the vault mod only. Tell me how good this looks, though. Is this not sick? That advanced filter upgrade by mod is crazy, dude. And by the time that you'll actually properly be able to get the advanced filter pickup, you'll have a belt, so you'll have a little bit more space than just this. And also for stack upgrades, too, because, I mean, we hit, what, 127 carbon? Is there anything here that got doubled up? I don't think so. Yeah, it's 127 carbon. Everything else is stacked in a single. It was a special moment when I saw you for the first time in Season 2. I got way too many of you at the end of Season 2, I'm telling you. Well, like, that that echo, there was way too much echo. I'm gonna be honest, I got sick of you a little bit, but... And apparently everybody wants to run a raffle at the same time, too. Sure, I'm down. Yo, Pebbles! See you in the Gladiator Arena. Also, I need a better area for doing this. So that might have been the best, best vault that I've ran. Uh, in terms of just, like, raw loot solo that I've done. But so, I've had a couple of fun co-ops, but I think solo... That's, pro that's probably the best vault that I've ran. That was a pretty. That was the. That was the vault for the days. That contrasts a little bit to the vaults we were running at the beginning of the day, huh? Oh, you're right. I didn't. Thank you for the heads up. I guess I'm doing this right now. Please, dear God. How much pain out was that? Thirty-two ore. Stack or more. That's all that I beg. Don't look that good exactly. This looks a little better now. Well, I did. You know, I asked for what I asked for. Thanks. You said or more? Well, I did say a stack or more, and it did give me a stack, you know? So, like, no problem with that. Uh, Sparkle Team? Bombing Knight? That was multiple. Needed bombing that more than anything, to be honest. Fortune Knights. Xenium. Zen, are you absent? Tubium. Pizza Knight. Ooh, that looks like a lot. And Black Opal. I'm not, uh... Oh, no, we're good. Oh, we're... Uh... What was that? Two Bombing Knight? Two Escalium? Four Sparkle Team? Six Fortune Knight? Four Xenium? Ten Tubium? God damn! Five Pizza Knight? Eleven Black Opal off of five or Decent return. Decent return. I thought the Bombing Knight was more than it was, but at least it was more than one. Uh, Looking... I don't think there was anything there that I got zero on. I think we got pretty much good on everything. Four Sparkle Team for four or you know, it, it happens. How'd it look? It looked like one? It's not zero! <laughs> Better than nothing! It wasn't zero, but it also wasn't anything more than one, but it still wasn't zero. Thank God. God bless for that one. Jesus. Thanks for watching that fall run. <laughs> See ya. All right.
I got you sitting in here for a bit ago. I gotta sock it on you already. We have reach at 2.28. I think I'm probably gonna go mining speed from this point onward. It's two sockets. So here's the thing. We got a vault pickaxe with double sockets. And if we look at the jewels, there's shoveling, there's farming, and there's axing. If I have my understandings of this correctly, those three should take care of all chests that I need to break. Because axing is the necessity. Shoveling can just be for anything, right? But in terms of other chests, or just all chests in general, the pickaxe handles coin piles, ornates and gildeds, axing takes care of regular chests, and farming should, in theory, take care of living chests. I'm good with just this. I'm good with just this, I think. I'm good with just this. I can queue out for, uh, living. I think I'm fine with just axing and shoveling so I don't have to carry anything like that on. So let's, uh, let's socket some stuff up. Let's make some jewels, baby. I should have the black opal for it if I'm understanding of my amount. Oh, yeah, we got 34? Damn, have I been holding on to black opal for a little bit? Oh, shit. So gorgeous jewel and zen jewel for shoveling and axing. Let's go ahead and do some perfect elections right to a view. We'll make up one gorgeous gemstone. And then one Z how much uh how much ZM do I have? 22? So 14 in total now? Okay, that's fine. That's fine by me. Alright. Gorgeous jewel, Sako the Vault Pegas that's shoveling. And Zen Zen Jewel. Oh, what do I need? Oh, black chromatic. Got it. One of you, please. Don't shift click onto that. God bless. Thank you. Throw you back in. And Zenjul. Pretty sick. Okay. So now, do you just... How do you work? You just anvil us on? Looks like you definitely do. Okay, cool. That costs one. Axing and shoveling. Very sick. Let's get this uh, hooked up with everything else we need, yeah? Let's run it up, baby. You're... Three cracked pearls for Okay, dude. Alright, you know what? At least we're gonna scab to mess around with some stuff. Whatever, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The real mega from there. Take me into a damn dragon room and like fighting that man if you're gonna do this to me. Jesus. Wait, who brought Twitch chat? What are you doing here? Good lord, minus every health in the in the game. It's nice. Oh man, that's good. Minus items. That breaks pretty fast. So that 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 works for uh for regular chests. Sick. It's a little vein mine action. Oh man. Oh yeah, that's good. That's real. That is real good. We definitely got a bad uh bad first example of it before with the axe. Yeah, the non-efficiency five axe before was not a great demo. That was pretty nice. That's pretty good. It's a Paxel. It is a bootleg Paxel. 
by bootleg Paxel, that's uh, yeah, it's a Paxel. It's just are meant or the pickaxes are meant to be the Paxel replacement for season three because there's so much variation in them. I always go in thinking that you're gonna wind up. These we do still need to open though, but that's fine. Oh, hello there. A welcoming sound to hear. Nice. I cannot overstate how nice that is. Dude. X mark. Uh, you know what I want to find? I want to find X mark room. I want to see how fast I can do my stupid stride of a 3x3 three three with a shoveling. <laughs> uh, what are you? Village room or uh oh. Sparking for what? Three? What else are you selling, if anything? What do I see there? My jewel? Wait! I'm about to lose my entire inventory of gold to this single ro What the f- <laughs> Is there anything up here? Nothing up here in this one. I see something over there, do I not? Was that not where we just were? That's where we just were, right? Yeah, and then we checked in here, and it was the same deal. Uh, well, I'm grabbing the helmet. That's a given. So sparking... Hold on a second. Sparking adds quick. And then unidentified vault helmet. And then mine adds reinforced. Mm. I'm buying you. That's an obvious one. Um. Quick would be interesting. Quick would be kind of cool. But what about my jewel, though? Reinforced? See, quick would be something that I would try and add on top of shoveling and axing, right? I don't know what I would add reinforced on. You know what I mean? I don't know if there's going to be a chance that I can get three sockets on a pick without burning through tons of them. I'm going to I'm going to hold off, okay? I know me best. I'm good with what I got. I'm I'm good with what I got. I'll keep the 18 gold. We'll save for another opportunity. What if there's a second vendor room in this vault, guys? Come on, we got to be conservative. <laughs> Just realistically, I think it would be a case where I wouldn't know when to apply it right about now. Because, like, I have a vision for a pickaxe. And I'm honestly down to try and make another one with three sockets when we're out of this vault to see if I can add pick and then remake the, uh... <laughs> basically remake the exact same pickaxe I've already made. get more gold anyway. That doesn't mean that I should still just use the gold on something I'm not confident on. Like, I want to know that I'm going to take value in it. Gotta smooth that guy. That was nice. 
Oh my god, that dash distance is insane. What the fuck? And by one, not both, there's no shot we're still on this. <laughs> You know what, man? When y'all download the pack, and you come across a, a, a vendor room, then you can buy my jewel. Alright? And, and you can tell me how good of uh, how, how good of an option it was. If I get poisoned a single damn more time. Good parry. No, I'm not running with the item quality magnet. I'm running with the uh, Soul Hunter magnet. So I need to repay back, Harry. I got a debt. I'll buy your jewel, then throw it into lava. Because I lava you. Bro. You write these? How is this app free? I mean, I guess for everybody but you, but... It's <laughs> the 500. Peter, do you get any of the profit from the peak gems being sold? If not, then you should sue. You know, I... I I'm just gonna assume that it, the check's coming. It hasn't hit the mailbox yet, but maybe it's just been because sales have been slow. You know? Like, surely the royalties are there. I have faith. Hey, Peter. Wait. Leaving us room, I'm embarrassed. Every time I say cheat, Every time I see cheese in the chest, my heart jumps thinking he found Sparkle Team. I can't tell whether or not that's you confusing the visuals of the two items, or if that's a reference to Jordan and cheesing. Either way, very good message. Someone mod that guy? Swear on God that I have entered a trapped vault. Like, that is just the thing that I've done. The game didn't tell me, but that's the thing that I've done. Hello there. Dripstones are biting my ankles, dude. Having a hard time moving around. Ouch. What is this?
That's a rune. That's poison. Having a great time. What was that rune? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I see you there. Don't proc. Thank you. Hey, Nat, I love you. Wonder if it feels the same way about me. Got those honey bottles? Hello? Hi. This is a room that exists. Try and I'm gonna try and stay in this room a little bit just because I really want to get uh, vault diamonds up again. My supply of vault diamonds is very low. Need to get more of those. Oh, they're coming from the walls. Shoot at nothing. Why have you gone and done that? The heck, man? Hmm. There's usually a downstairs area. Eh, I'm out. I don't got much health. Trying to regen a little bit of mana. I'm done. They get a mod box. Yeah. I mean, we have, uh, what's it called? Oh, you know what? I really, I don't know if it's configured in the first place, but I really do not want to use mod boxes when I have a mod that I'm not supposed to have. Belts for anybody wondering. Belts were meant to be more expensive than they were in terms of research because of a bug, so I'm not utilizing anything from belts except for the advanced filter upgrade, which this guy said was chill if I used. Also, are you full? Uh, okay. Good info to know that that backpack is definitely one that will need upgrading at some points. That is a lot of... Oh god, don't do that. You know, if I somehow am able to hit like three Omegas from this one POI... Hey! Hey, you! Good dance. That poison cloud's really nice, to be honest. What would you like? Here to serve. Asking people what they'd like to buy when I got a candle on my kiosk, dude. Am I working at Bath and Body Works or something, man? Speaking of, I gotta take some time out of my day to go to Bath and Body Works and get a refill on those wallflowers. I ran out of my favorite scent the other day. My bathroom is... bare. Need to get some new flavor up in there. But 
where exactly did you do that? I don't like this area. I'm evacuating from this. Have fun without me. I will not be partaking. What scent do you get? I have no idea the names. The one that smells good. I, I don't know the names of them. Oh, get that ghost away from me. Back off me, bud. You know, this rails could go here. A pickering. That might honestly not be that bad of a shout. That was really nice. Because although for utility, it's not really too useful anymore. You know, there could always be a situation where it is. I know for the puzzle room, it's like the best thing ever, apparently. In the old season, you could pick around Gilda chests, and early game was faster than breaking them. You talking about season one? I'm assuming that's why you're telling me about a season that apparently it's season two. Well, was that during the time when I wasn't playing then? This day before you got there. Interesting. Play through the night? Yep, pretty much. Sounds at 1040 or 1023. Uh good morning. There is a chance, by the way, just letting you guys know that the finale of Ragnamod might be at six o'clock PM PST. I will absolutely, if that is the thing that has happened tonight, be streaming that. Zine is working on uh, getting like an edited montage done for it. But Zine's also been like insanely busy with IRL stuff. So hopefully the brother was able to get more than like three hours of sleep accumulated over the last two days. But yeah, barring um, all of that, it will either be tonight or Friday is also a possibility too. Thought I saw something down there. Cheeky little kill altar, maybe? Uh, I think I'm just gonna depart from the vault. It's not really too much going on here. Didn't get a crack, crack pearls. I think we're just gonna hop out of this one. Gotta say, though, the pickaxe, mighty fine. Mighty nice. Let's see if we can uh, craft another <laughs> and get three, uh, three sockets. Start streaming at 12 a.m.? Yeah. Yes, I did, and what about it? Question mark? Yo, next to Miller. Thank you very much for the Prime. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. How much did the pick use? Uh, 250 durability out of 4k. So it does actually bleed down a fair amount, to be honest. That does use up a little bit of Dura. I want to trade for a single Ashium. 
think Ashium might be one of the lower gems that I have, but I could always see. Oh, this guy got it. Pays for itself. And you know what? Call it a trinket with 16 uses. But you're right, though. It's just a matter of having the gems. Okay. Hey. So, this got filled up a little bit, but that's from Scav, to be honest. So, like, well, I guess it doesn't really actually matter. Yeah, this fills up a decent bit with all the most miscellaneous items still. Okay. So, emptying off, I mean, for buffers, just, I don't know. There's info to think about there, stuff to think about. Four to three hundred experience. 2,500 from chess, 600 from mine blocks, 1,100 from mobs and alive. Not bad. Not bad at all. It would take... Let's be honest. It would take a lot for me to retire the helmet that I'm currently wearing for whatever this is, no matter how good it is, because of that legendary modifier. That's n four and a half extra hearts, like... I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Level 23, 3 armor. Thorn chance and knockback res. Sure it was epic? I think so. I mean, there's definitely two prefixes. The unfortunate thing is that there's uh, three suffixes and only two prefixes. So you're like, you're losing out on health, res, mana, armor. So that we do have the option of using a fundamental focus. The thing is, though... Okay, sure. I reroll the fundamental, I get 7 armor. Okay, but like, also, 9 health. 9 health. Like, dude, I don't want to retire this helmet right now. Are you kidding me? I'm going to hang on to this. Because maybe when this helmet breaks, we could reroll the implicit and it wouldn't be that bad around that time. But for right now, we'll just keep it in there. We'll, we'll mess around with it another time. Oh, God. Okay. Well, vault pickaxe attempt. We literally just did this, but we have a sparking jewel with quick. I don't know exactly what it does. I'm curious as hell to know. Which paint out do we have? 48. 48 pay night. Okay. For the sake of gear crafting, I'll hold off. How many, uh, how much essence do we have? 15? Okay. If you use the higher tier pick, it's easier to reach socket breakpoints. Well, that's good because I can't afford any of those pickaxes. So, <laughs> the only pickaxe that I think I might be able to afford would be the black chromatic pickaxe. Because that's 12 black opal. But I don't think it's really worth it right now because Black Opal is used in a lot of other things that I'd like to hang on to. I'm not just going to be like, oh, I've got a bunch of Black Opal. I'm going to make a Black... No, I'm I'm good with the regular Vault Pickaxe. Is the last one Echo Pickaxe? That's the second to last highest tier. Yeah, it's uh, Echoing Ingot, which is eight Echo Gems and one Netherite. Same durability, but yeah, a better Pickaxe altogether by far. And then the Prismatic is, yeah, that big boy. So, think the Omega Pog pickaxe. Your time travel or something. All right. Maybe we could. Um, what does this take? Chromatic steel ingots, silver scrap, and netherite scrap. How much netherite scrap do we have in our system at the moment? I know we were a little bit dry on it earlier. We got forty-five in here. Okay, because we're breaking chests now. We're getting a little bit more netherite, right? More reliably. We're not being as stingy with it. Maybe with quick. You know what, maybe with the Sparking Jewel with Quick, maybe we could, um, 
What if we just get the mining speed up just dummy high? Because this one has a mining speed of plus 1.04. What if we just tried to bump the mining speed up like nuts? Solid. Solid. Hot damn. Whew. 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 Man. Whew. Mine has to be 13.6.06. I don't know exactly what that refers to, if that just means that it mines 13% faster. What other jewels are there? So we have shoveling, sturdy, farming, smelting, immortal. That one's the echo one. Uh, reinforced, shattering, hammering, axing, quick, pulverizing, and excavating. Base mining was 10. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you're right. The base mining is 10, and this is 23.06. Double quick. I actually don't know if you can sock it with the same thing twice. I think we asked that question a bit ago, and I think it wouldn't make sense, because why would you be able to sock it, like, most things twice? Most things wouldn't make sense to... We don't. E I don't even know if any of them would make sense, like, twice. Maybe, like, reinforce, or... I don't know what they would do, but probably not. Um... Like, do I go for a third and try and get reach, or not, not reach, but try and get, uh, well, I guess a little bit of reach, but axing and shoveling and quick on it? Because I don't even know what quick does. Y'all got any idea what this does? I mean, you have an idea, but, like, do you guys even know what quick does? Because I don't. I'm imagining something to do with some kind of haste. Maybe a thing where it can, like, randomly proc a faster speed or something? Maybe, like, as you're mining it, there's a chance that it just, like, like, rapidly increases and then calms back down. I'm not gonna ask. We can find out. I'm just curious if you guys knew from, like, anybody else talking about it. Isn't it a speed Paxel from last season? I forgot all about, like, the Paxel... Whatever the things were called to put throw them on there. The orb blue things or whatever, those modifiers and stuff. Um, because if it had quick, where would I use this? Oh man, I kind of, oh dude. I kind of really want to try for, and even if we fail on this one, I could go again. I kind of really want to try for, uh, the third, the third socket. To throw, uh, axing, shoveling, and quick on it. That'd be kind of cool, you know? Go reach? Yeah, we'd probably go reach at this point. Oh! Yes! It's only 1.4 reach compared to 2.2 that we had before, but we actually hit it! We had the third socket! As a reminder, if anybody doesn't know how this works, if you're just watching this for the first time or you don't know, um, this bar right here is the main thing. Every time that you try and add a modifier, this percentage will go down a certain amount, so 5%, basically. And every time that you added modifier, this is the chance that it succeeds. If it doesn't succeed, it breaks. So that's why, like, getting down to another socket was so, like, ugh, you know? Well, there you go. Uh, minus one axling, axing and shoveling <laughs> modifier. Fourth socket, though? Keep it and wait for Immortal? Well, no, Immortal would, um... Immortal only applies outside of the vaults, not inside of the vaults. So it wouldn't really be a very good thing for us right now. 
Now gamble the first pickaxe. See, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking, yeah. I have to check, though. I do have to check. Do I have more Xenium and Gorgonite? Because if I... I think I have a bunch of Gorgonite gems. I have 33 and 22. We do have enough. We've got some to mess around. We do have something to mess around. So here's kind of the, the situation, right? We do mining speed on this. Best case scenario, we get the third socket on this pick, miraculously. We chuck the sparking jewel on it, we're done, we're happy, we're good. Worst case scenario, this breaks, and I just spend the jewels that I'm going to anyway on this. So it's like, I'm either going to spend for the vault pickaxe we have here, or I'm going to be able to not have to spend the two extra of those. 100 to 500 on durability. And it doesn't cost a red vault essence either. But also, like, the point of the sparking jewel is for speed. It's like, I'd like to get the mining speed up a little bit. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, damn. Okay. So I'll just run the, uh, we'll run this pickaxe then. Hey, we gave it an attempt. Hitting it twice would have been ridiculous. Alright. Gorgeous gemstone. Thank you. Xenium gemstone. Thank you very much. And one... Oh, wait. Whoops. Uh, black chromatic. Two of you. One gorgeous jewel. One Zen Jewel. Oh my days. Okay. And I'm lacking a little bit in the experience department, but we can at least... Let's take care of, I guess, in the way that we did it before. Shoveling. Axing. And quick. Whatever quick does. Don't know what it does, but whatever it does, it'd be interesting to try out all the new jewels as well, too. I think we went with a, with a pretty basic vanilla setup. You know, a little, a little plain. Get the Paxel and the extra speed on there, but... Run up one last raffle. If uh, any of you guys want to get your raffle in, this will be for, uh, yo, Geophone. See you in the Gladiator Arena. Um, if any of you guys want to get your uh, raffles in, it'll be for the start of next stream. Whenever we get that done. Game isn't on yet. You can't go offline. <laughs> oh, man. What time did Abe start his stream the other day? No, it was definitely... No, Abe's late. Isn't Abe late? Nah, Abe's late. Because I know that Abe was on for a good bit before I went to bed last night. Middle of the day yesterday. Yo, Madzi, um, you're gonna show up, at least put in a little bit of effort? God damn. Nobody wants to work anymore? Bro, did Karu just get like a, tw one, like a 20 bomb? Um, okay, so we're gonna run the Gladiator Arena, and then also, I still have the image from... I still got the little thing from earlier. Uh, Cameron 204, I don't know if you're here, but I'm going to try and get you set up for the next Gladiator Arena that we do. But in the meantime, we got these 12. Let's run it up. All right, let's do a cheeky little, uh, what do we got? Cray resistance, interesting. Armor, armor, block chance on the chest plate. Probably just go with the 30% uh, block chance shield. Not bad. A lot of mana options I'm seeing here. 10 armor, reach, damage. Alt sword, 60 damage. Pretty good. Uh, we'll just go with the 12 armor legs. 14 armor boots. 18 armor helmet with 7. Jeez, that's a really good one. Okay. So we got legs in there. We need a chest plate. 
5% res. Booster looking mighty nice. Rock with those. No chest plate. We need a weapon, though. Holy, not looking too bad. Healing two. Yeah, it's probably overrunning. All right, cool. Decently geared. Chest is a bit nude, but otherwise we're fine. With their avoidance makes me wonder what level that comes into play. Yeah, because what? There's the weakness affinity. If you look in your talents, there's weakness affinity, slowness affinity, and wither affinity. Gotta wonder when those will come into play. I'm imagining that slowness is already in play with the fact that there's strays in the snow vaults. But I do wonder about the other ones. Are you gonna wake up? The frick can't even hit you. I'm getting classed out. What the? I don't know about that one, Chief. Okay, man. I, I, oh, I don't know about this. I think I'm underestimating uh, the gladiators today. Hey, man, come on. Okay, dude. All right, listen, 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 listen. When are you going to kill me? At least have a skin or something. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't want another crate I can't do anything with, man, but I can't just let y'all win. I want no hell. Come, come on, man. Oh, man. I'm looking forward to see what they do with with this. Because I'm not going to lie. When you only got like... When you don't have like a full wave. And like a lot of them are kind of slow as a result. It feels a little bad. But also, GG's. Skill issue on your guys then. Uh, maybe like get better or something. <laughs> yeah, interested to see what they do with the champion crates. Vault champion trophy. Oh. Vault Champion Mighty. Interesting. Very, very cool. Champion Token, Champion Statue, Champion Crate. Very, very cool. The crate's still broken? Yeah, they still haven't uh, decided on what they're going to put in there for the time being. Alright, I'm going to hop off. I appreciate you guys a lot.